will never lack help in your life receive it as a prophetic word you will never lack help in your life men will arise to help you arise to defend you arise to protect you arise to support you arise to give to you arise to partner with your vision arise to wipe your tears arise to carry you in the name of jesus my name is Asitonka Agri Abba and the channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> I don't know what the part of the Bible that said that thing, that which I feared have come upon me. So one of our biggest fears and something I always shared here is the fact that not everybody is going to get um, um, PR. And that is just the painful truth because the slots they have for PR, it's not even close to the amount of temporary residents we have in this country now the amount of temporary residents we have in this country is about 2.5 million and so far since january they've not given up to 100,000 people pr and we have against 2.5 million now if you're a student macmillan released recently where he was talking about the fact that we can't get we can't like you um according to the headline he said we can't keep you all basically referring to international students wanting you know um pr after their studies and all and he's like we can't keep you all because truthfully one of the angles they are going to use is the fact that when we're writing a visa application the part where they ask are you going to go back all because most in fact all all international students had to feel yes you're going back to your country some route you know they're going to go back to take over their father's company some route different things so ideally if they're going to go by that hopefully it doesn't call up and it's like misrepresentation it's like lie you told us we we're going to go back and do this x y or z that's why for me i would advise if you do not have a clear cut pathway in mind this is even before you before you even decide that before you even decide that canada is the place for you i feel especially if you're going to come in as a student i feel like you should calculate your score add one year if you're going to do a year course and you're over 30 and you're currently maybe 31 check your crs calculator use 32 add that you have canadian education calculate it and see the points that will give you an estimate to know that after paying your fees, this is the CRS score you're going to have by that time. Do you understand? And then compare it to all the scores that are obtainable now. And it will be your answer. If you're over 30, I have done several videos. I have some people that have sent me meals. Understand that, yes, I took a break, but I'm definitely going to come back to regular posting and all of that. Um, one thing I, I wanted to to say was if you're like your 30s late 30s mid mid 30s in fact 40s just do masters just do masters if you're around that age i will not even prefer you land here if you're not going to do a second program why i'm saying that is because trono gives you a kind of lay of the land it's good but then it's not the kind of place where you know if you if you have like time is against you in terms of age and then you're somebody that you don't have so much funds there's no point starting here just go straight to a place like new brunswick you know places that absorb their students because there are many provinces that still have that and when you go to those kind of places their university education is actually cheaper because right now diploma is on shaky grounds if they are looking for anything to use to reduce international students they start with the diploma certification programs and all of that so if you're coming in as a student like as a mature student just do your just do masters right now if i'm advising not every everybody will say oh i don't have masters money go to a province that is a bit more affordable memorial college that place is not all the best in terms of like job availability because new finland it's far off 
But then, when you're coming here and you know that PR is the goal, something has to give. Unless you're about to come here in Toronto where there are jobs, but there's high competition because the truth is, not, there are people that have been here eight months, six months, they've not gotten anything. No call back, no job. In fact, yesterday I was talking to one of my friends and she was like, there's a lady that just couldn't do it anymore. She just moved back. She didn't even apply for um, this thing, postgraduate work permit. She said she's finishing, she's going back. She can't do it. Like, she has been in Canada, almost finished her study. She didn't get any job. She didn't get any call back. Multiple, in fact, the interview she did, ghosting her and all of that. And this is somebody that was living a very, very comfortable life back in Nigeria. So, um, as much as, yes, most times I tell people, when people ask, okay, so do you think Canada is... The yes, because if the end goal is PR or the end goal is a second passport, I still feel like you can rough it. But you need to have money. Do you understand? Just in case, because you cannot, you cannot even guess your, you know, your stance. If you're going to come in also as a mature student, one of the things I would even advise you, if let's say you don't have money, be ready to do like support work. Why? Because they always need people. So you can um, use any of these train to hire services. There are lots of colleges that offer train to hire like agencies they will train you in the psw personal support work um after training you they will hire you um if you want to do that kind of this thing you have even a better chance if you have a car if you're mobile because most of them have like clients that are in their houses that you know they're not necessarily in one retirement home so they want to give you maybe 10 clients a day you have to drive from one point to the other you know check on them clean find the ones that wants to eat write reports check their meds check how they are doing and all of that then you go to the next person and you go to the next person those jobs are there you understand i would advise you do that if you like a last point of call kind of thing have that in mind like the way it is um the way those kind of um, services are plenty here in Toronto. i don't know if other provinces have them in terms of like the train to hire services this one is free like my friend arinda is doing it in fact she has she has over one year experience at some point the, th the thing is also that it's stressful you understand um she had to i told her babe i mean reduce it more we'll go part-time so she she now moved to part-time so that it's a bit slower but that first period Arin was doing 13 10 up and down it is not easy but it was not um it was at no cost it was that they didn't charge her for that um but prior to that she made sure she got her first aid her cpru certification and then in addition to their training she was able to take a lot of clients and you know start earning income um moving here for whatever reason you need to switch very fast no matter how rich you are from nigerian money or whatever your currency is to any canadian dollars that's when you can say okay you have settled so for me right now we do not know the next announcement for mac miller but concerning this his talk about not being able to you know absorb all the students and um yeah when i do the vid um add that so that you guys will listen but i just needed to give this update for those of you that are planning to come for those of you that maybe you're looking at um september for the september people i'm sure you already got any but i'm talking of maybe you're looking at something like january um may next year and the rest of them if you're looking to still come and maybe you're an advanced student or maybe even though you're not an advanced student you're a student that you have calculated and you've seen hmm, it's only god that will help you to fall into any category that makes sense i feel like you should you should um start planning don't allow this place take you on our ways. I'm telling you, like, you will not like yourself if you enter this country and you don't have a clear cut pathway. Not even one. You need, like, I used to always say that you need up to like four, five. When I was coming back then, I knew that if I do this in um, Toronto and Toronto doesn't work, I was so open to going to any province. Like, I used to laugh at <laughs> the fact that you see me and my friend for me, we used to sign up for all these new finland recruitment webinars and all those things and it was it was like what are we doing where <clears throat> you if you want something and you see that oh i really love i'm going to miss see it's such a beautiful day today i love this my neighborhood let me not lie i love this neighborhood i should have been doing videos like this but you know me have most times i was walking so there's no <laughs> there was no way it was going to happen Anyway, so um, like I was saying, 
when you know the goal and the assignment and the reason why you came here it will be easy for you to you know identify the steps to achieve it and then when somebody advises you there is no way that you will, you will even be slacking do you get that kind of thing there are many people that i talked to i have classmates that i literally when i was applying i said listen this is the application have you written your ayot have you done this and many people were not proactive canada worker is proactivity there are many people that have sent me emails that they just use my video they did not even need prayer point again they just used the video and just replicated the and it works i will not be the kind of person that will tell you you know do this and i did not do it or i will not give you like truthful steps you know even when i was um talking about the insta work working shift people were surprised when they meet me there i'm like yes this is it works i'm not just sending you off to a place where it doesn't work there's nothing no 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 it works i'm working here i'm making the money i'm seeing the shifts and then they are comforted knowing that i'm still doing it as at the time where people meet me on shift and they're like oh wow i see you yes yes we're all hustling for money if i see if i have any day that was free from work i'll pick a shift you know that's just the way international students have been surviving so with updates like this i know that it is not easy especially for people that it almost seems like oh i see anytime you're telling me my heart is beating my dear my dear it's facts i don't get strength which i go gain if i like give you like you come here now you'll be stranded people are going back let me even pause and tell you this thing reality on ground a lot of people are going back and i i, I commend them for being that brave because this place is not everybody favors and i'm not going to lie i commend people that are brave enough to say you know what i think i need to go back it doesn't mean they've cancelled out canada forever it just means that they need to retreat to count some people have cancelled it out forever but then some people are like you know what let me just go and rest because some of you in endurance endurance you will see that some people have pushed themselves to certain levels of depression that going back safe is not even an issue they've burnt all the bridges that's why i always say don't burn all the bridges you you you're not even really sick uh, sorry if you're hearing noises i'm near the road you're not even really sick sometimes you just miss home if you can i know not everybody has like the transport and the rest to go and all of that but if you can i assure you that something as little as just going back to nigeria to sleep or rest or eat is going to do wonders for your mental health like wonders a lot of students here are just you know panicking people are at different phases of their life and i get it this place can be crazy but my dear try as much as possible um try your best see if it's possible to rest a bit because this news i'm bringing to you i know you are about to shout i see a news again we have not gotten like update update from mila but the truth is he has he has finally admitted my biggest fear which is the fact that not everybody's going to get PRO, and now we do not know if they are going to be making actionable steps to literally send people back home we do not know if they are going to be saying no oh, maybe based on result or based on do you know why this is even funny is because he's also identifying the fact that it's not going to be by your course so, so even if you study robotics they cannot take all the robotics do you understand we do not know yet initially when i was talking i said like you know there are certain courses like the business courses that i felt like they were going to go after but right now with the way that news came i really don't know the next step but i just want you guys to if you're already here in canada start looking at your pathways i see i'm still in school find time and write ielts this has nothing like you have to be over prepared write your ielts before you finish that graduation in fact be in the pool you get process process your west you do not need to process your canadian education so process your highest education from back home and then get ready that for me that's just the best advice i have for you guys i need to run to the mall now i'm uh, sorry i need to rush to the bank now hope you guys are fine i realize that if i keep putting it off and saying oh when i sit down i'll do video these days i'm just super busy anyway guys take care of yourself bye